we will focus on nuclear chemistry in there and we will learn about nuclear reactions in the nuclear reactions the nucleus breaks up into uh, isotopes of other elements and along with it some other particles and lots of energy are released so the some of the particles which come out during a nuclear reactions are alpha um alpha which is uh, represented as he24 or alpha24 and beta the symbol for a beta is negative 1 and 0 that means the charge is negative 1 and the mass is 0 and gamma which is lot of energy with the uh, no charge and no mass and proton with the uh, with one charge and one mass one positive charge and one mass and neutron with a neutral charge and a mass of one unit an electron which is similar to the beta which is same as beta and with a negative one charge and uh, no mass and positron we call it as positive electron which has a positive one charge and no mass now let us just go further and use up in nuclear reactions you are given certain nuclear reactions and you have to complete it the first one is uranium 23992 gives off an electron you have to identify the element which will be formed so if you look at the atomic number and the atomic mass i have 92 and 239 on the reactant side the products atomic mass and the number should also equal to the same thing so since the electron has zero mass the mass of the element that is formed on the uh, product side should be 239 and the atomic number should be 93 because 93 minus 1 will give you 92 and hence look up the periodic table the element with an atomic number 93 is neptune np so this is the way we do the other questions also the next one is potassium 1940 gives off uh, an uh, alpha particle so balance the atomic number on both the sides atomic number i have 19 here so i should have an element with an atomic number of 17 that's chlorine and the atomic mass of this element will be 36 that makes it 36 plus 4 is equal to 40 the third one is an alpha particle bombarded uh, with a beryllium nucleus and it gives you a neutron so the resulting element if you add up the atomic number 2 plus 4 is 6 should have an atomic number of 6 and um, atomic mass of this number should be 12 because 12 plus 1 gives you 13 which is equal to 4 plus 9 and therefore the element in the this case is carbon 6 12 and um, the fourth one is uh, iodine giving off a beta particle and uh, balance the atomic now the count the atomic numbers you see i have 53 here so the atomic number over there should be 54 with a mass of 135 and that is xenon and the next one red on which gives off two uh, alpha particles so therefore be careful that uh, the mass sum number uh, should change by 8 and the atomic number should change by 4 and that is the reason i i get lead 82 127 and uh, the last one where uh, uranium is bombarded with neutron giving you krypton and barium so by ba balance the uh, atomic numbers i have already 92 on the product side 36 plus 56 and therefore the only particles that could have been formed will be neutron because neutron is the only particle which is emitted which has zero mass uh zero charge neutron is on only particle which has got no charge that is it is neutral and uh, therefore neutron will be emitted now calculate how much is the mass comes on the reactant side it is 236 and in the product side it is uh, 233 so based on this i should have got three neutrons that's why i have put three neutrons over there complete the following uh, nuclear reaction which are given in words the first one is electron capture on nitrogen 13 so what we do is we'll write nitrogen 7 13 since it is electron capture you will write plus one electron on the reactant side 
and uh, when you balance the atomic number it will be 7 minus 1 that is 6 and the element with atomic number 6 is carbon therefore the product form will be carbon 6 13. Now the second one is positron emission of magnesium so the symbol for positron is uh, P10 and uh, based on this the, the other product which will be formed is sodium 11 23 and alpha emission of uranium 238 will give me thorium 90 and 234 and alpha bombardment so when they say bombardment means uh, beryllium is hit with alpha particles this is going to give me carbon and neutron and uh, the last one the electron capture on polonium electron capture the electron will be on the reactant side and will give me bismuth with uh, 83 204. So the, these reactions are easy. The only thing you have to see is the atomic number on both the reactant and the product side match and the mass number also matches.